Hello students, welcome you all back to John Lewis Memory School. Today's topic is derivation of Van der Waals equation. Let's imagine we're scientists getting ready to make a gas model more realistic than the good old. Here's a breakdown of how we derive the Van der Waals equation. Ideal gas law. Understanding the limits of the ideal gas law, you know how the ideal gas law goes. PV is equal to NRT. It's awesome, but it makes some pretty bold assumptions. No space for molecules. Ideal gases assume molecules are basically points with no volume of their own. That's great for very spread out gases, but gets wonky when gas molecules get squished together. No love for the neighbors. The ideal gas law assumes gas molecules don't interact. In reality, there are faint attractive forces between those little guys. Especially when they get close. The Van der Waals plan, the Van der Waals equation aims to fix these assumptions. Let's go through it step by step. Step 1, adjusting for gas molecule volume the B term. 1. Picture your gas. Think of your gas molecules as tiny marbles rather than points. These marbles take up space. 2. Less room to roam, since molecules aren't just points. The actual space they can move around in is a bit less than the container's total volume. 3. 3. Introducing B, we factor this in with B. B is a constant representing the volume excluded by a mole of gas molecules. 4. Modified volume, in the Van der Waals equation, instead of the container's volume V. We use V minus NB, where N is the number of moles. Step 2. Adjusting for attraction the term. 1. Tiny attractions matter. Real gas molecules experience gentle attractive forces when they wander. Close to each other. 2. Feeling a tug. These faint forces slightly reduce the pressure a gas. Exerts on its container. Why? The outer molecules get gently pulled inwards by their buddies. 3. Introducing a, a is a constant that factors in attraction. It depends on how strongly the molecules of a specific gas are attracted to each other. 4. Tweaking the pressure. Since attraction lessens the outward pressure, we need to compensate. Inside the Van der Waals equation, we modify this as P plus a multiplied by square of N divided by V. Let me explain why we added that extra bit. Proportional to density, attraction pulls are higher. When molecules are packed close together, that is, in high density situations. That's why it's proportional to NV, as NV measures density. Putting it all together, the Van der Waals equation we've modified our volume for molecular size and our pressure for molecular attraction. We end up with the final beauty P plus a multiplied by N upon V, V minus NB equals NRT. Let us summarize now. The Van der Waals equation isn't perfect, but it's a great upgrade. It helps us model real gases better because it acknowledges that gas molecules DO have volume. It factors in those subtle attractive forces between the molecules. Let me know if you'd like more details on any part of this. Or if you want to see how this equation plays out in practice. That's it in this presentation. Until we meet next time with another interesting topic. Bye bye from your memory master John Lewis.